Check this out. Retro Live sent this out to me to do a little demo vid and setup for you. In case you're wondering about these, this is an all-in-one. Really cool. Does have Bluetooth input. Uh, Built-in speakers, four speakers, 215 watt, 210 watt. This is model number HQ KZ018. Also comes in a tan color if you want, uh, like a brown color. I got it in black. On the back side you do have the option for auxiliary out, so you can pipe it to your own sound system. You get the phono or line out selection. You can do an auxiliary in, and it also has Bluetooth in. Go ahead and remove this tape here. Setup instructions are really straightforward in the manual. I'm going to go ahead and demo that for you. First up, take your platter. Go ahead and pull the pad off. You can see right here we do have a ribbon. What we need to do is make sure that our belt here is pretty, pretty well centered in there. Go ahead and remove this tape. Line up the platter onto the, place it over the spindle here. Make sure it's seated all the way down. Okay, we're gonna align the cutout right here that we have the ribbon sticking out of over our motor pulley. All right, grasp the two ribbon ends and we're basically gonna pull our belt over the motor pulley and we can remove the ribbon and just double check down in there that it's not the belt is not twisted or anything like that now we need to manually rotate the platter around 10 times one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and that step is important because it's going to reset the auto mechanism get rid of any twists in the belt that may be there making sure the belt rides smoothly along the drive rim and underside of the platter then we can place our slip mat back onto the platter it does say place it logo up but this one has no logo and it's just a felt slip mat so might want to upgrade that potentially I've already removed the tie that was here and the tape that was around the stylus up front but next step we're going to install our counterweight numbers facing forward to the player and you just gently kind of push it on as you turn it it's going to feed into that little spindle groove there all the way up up front you do want to remove the cover from your stylus because that's going to add a little bit of weight and we need to balance our arm next step unlock the tone arm make sure your lift lever is actually in the down position like that lift your tone arm off the rest and we're going to place it right in the middle of where the rest is and the platter is now we're going to carefully rotate our counterweight until our tone arm is balanced and it should return to that level balanced position anytime it's moved up or down. So give it some, some adjustments and let it settle. Alright, once you find that balance point, go ahead and return the tone arm back to the resting position. Then without moving the position of the counterweight itself, we're going to gently rotate the tracking force dial. So that's this dial on front. 
keeping this back piece stationary. So we're going to rotate that dial until it the zero lines up with the top. And it may be a little difficult to see because everything's black on black here, but there is a little line, a groove at the top. So you're lining that zero mark with that groove. Not done yet. We need to set the weight to match the cartridge for the tracking. So for this cartridge, it's 3.5. As we're looking at the dial from the front, we're going to be rotating this counterclockwise to 3.5 for this particular cartridge. And 3.5 lined up. That is our good base point. Let me adjust it just a little bit more. Right there. So plus or minus uh, 0.5 on there with your tracking, but 3.5 is what this cartridge does call for. All right, now you can install your dust cover. You could have done this first, but it's a little easier to do everything before you do this. You could potentially leave this off if you want. Two tabs back here, they just slot in here and here, pretty straightforward. And they click in, very nice. Setup at this point is pretty well done other than testing it out and I'm gonna go demo that for you now. You do also get this 45 adapter in case you have the 45. I don't really see a storage location for it though. They also chose to give you their logo, their branding separate. Looks like a sticky tape on the back. You could put it right here, which is probably what I'll do on the dust cover. But this does give you the option to possibly put it somewhere else on the player or leave it off altogether. Power adapter and just a little cartridge alignment guide template. Looks kind of cool. I like it. Approximately six foot cord. All right, I got this set up down in my workout area. My little mini fridge here. Currently, nothing in it. In case you're wondering. But I just want to kind of demo that here as well because if you're thinking about one of these for your dorm room or something, it's perfectly on top of mini fridge. There's a little bit of room left to move it back and forth as well. Really nice rubber feet on the bottom to dampen any vibrations. All right, real quick look at the controls that you have here. On, off, and a mode button right here. So pushing it once, the light is gonna be illuminated right there, red. So that's on. Push it again. Uh, there's a Bluetooth setting so you can pipe Bluetooth in like from your phone You can stream it into these speakers the built-in speakers. You can't pipe it out But you do have that RCA auxiliary out in the back for that Speed settings 33 and 45 you do have a play and a pause button, which is nice and then your volume control nice and Simple there. Let's see if I can demo a little bit of music without getting the copyright so I may start and stop it a little bit, but best I can please keep in mind the sound you're hearing is going to be coming through my Canon camcorder which is a little bit old but maybe it'll give you an idea I'll give my honest opinion at the end but again, you can hit the play button lift your tone arm up the lever up go and place this over where you need it set it down I have this almost all the way down now let me turn it up That's about halfway up. Speakers are coming out right here. Let me skip ahead a little bit. Try to turn it up a little bit louder. It may not sound great coming through my camcorder, but it sounds really good in person.
So that was not quite full up, but overall, I would say if you're looking for a nice all-in-one player for like your dorm room, your side room, you don't have a big uh, stereo system to hook it up to, you want something to start out with, this is really nice. You can, it, it's really nice as far as the sound comes out. I'm going to really enjoy this down in my workout room here. And later on, if I want to hook it up to an, another amp, uh, my Denon, or whatever with some more speakers, I can do that too. So it's very versatile. Of course, you have your dust cover here. That's kind of what it'll look like. But also, let's see, when it reaches the end, uh, it will turn off, uh, it will stop playing, stop spinning uh, within three minutes. So once it hits those, those, the end bars there, it won't power off, so you need to be monitoring this. It's not going to manually return for you. But if you're having any problems with tracking, do your adjustments, your fine tuning with the uh, weight system back there. And I said it right, right where it said to, and it is playing nice. Playing nice. Really awesome. Go check them out. I'll put the links down below. Give them a look. If I get any discount codes, I'll pass along to you. They didn't give me any right now, but if I get them, I'll post them. I'll post up a pinned comment with that. But right now, this one is $2.99 regular, but it's on sale. I think it's like $30 off or something like that right now at the time of filming this. And they have different models, uh, some cheaper ones, some more expensive ones, some that don't have the built-in speakers. So, go check them out. Retro Life. Boom.